Hello everyone, I am Jane. I've been working as a software engineer for a few years and currently I'm taking Master of Knowledge Engineering in National University of Singapore. And today I'd like to share with you on how to solve 8 puzzle with A Star Search. An 8 puzzle consists of a 3 times 3 grids containing I squares and one of them is empty. And the objective of this game is to swap this empty square around so that you can reach this goal state. By following the this link, you can have a few on this game. So here is uh, the online example of 8 puzzle. And you can move the empty square up or left or right or down. Okay, based on the position of this empty square. As A star search is a tree search, let's start with constructing a search tree. We can put the initial state as the root node and put the next possible steps as the child nodes. So this empty square, it can move left or it can move down. You may realize that we did not list a step for this empty square to move to the right. Because by moving to the right, we will hit the same state as the initial state. We choose not to list down the state that has appeared in the tree before so as to prevent infinite loops. A star search uses two very important values. One is the cost from initial state to current state. In our case, it's the number of steps taken. And next will be the estimated distance from current state to goal state. And in our case, we are using Manhattan distance to measure this each value. Manhattan distance between two points is the sum of vertical distance plus the horizontal distance. For example, for three, the current state for a current state, the position is here, but for goal state, the position is here. The Manhattan distance will be 2 plus 0, which is 2. And similarly for 8, it's 1 plus 2, it's 3. And for 1, it's 1 plus 2, it's 3. You may realize that for the rest of numbers 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, they're in the same position as the goal state. Hence, their Manhattan distance will be 0. The h value is the sum of Manhattan distance for all the 8 squares except for the empty square. And hence, the h value for this state would be 8. A star search uses the sum of g and h as a score to determine which step to go next. For example, from the initial state, we have two steps either to move left with a score of 3 or to move down with a score of 2. 2 is smaller, so you will decide to move down. And from there, you will continue to check on the score of the child nodes to move down with a score of 2 or to move left with a score of 4. So you will move down and reach the goal state. And the game will end here. And I have created an A star solver in Python. So let's take a look at it. And for all the node objects, there will be g value and there will be uh, h value using Manhattan distance and there will be f value which is the score of g and h. And when we are solving this puzzle, we will firstly create a root node and we will check if that equals to the goal state. If it's not, we will look at what are the possible child nodes, be it up or down or left or right and we will add the child node to the queue. And then the queue will sort it based on the score of the nodes and the node with the least score will be chosen. And after that, it will check if the goal state has been met or not. And if it's not, we will continue to check if there's any child node. And this process will repeat and repeat until a goal state is met. And if you wish to see the source code, you can go to the link below to, so to see the full version. A star search can be used to find the shortest path and it will generally take less time in comparison with a brute force search or a general depth first search or breadth first search. And it has many real life applications. It could be used to solve any search based problem where the cost and the distance of the goal can be determined. Some of the examples could be finding the shortest path in a map with GPS or in a video game, motion planning in robotics, or solving other puzzles such as the egg cream puzzle. 
Thank you for watching this video and hope I could share with you a more interesting concept in the future.